this. Where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I know this little back there breakfast guy. Is this Nick's memory being screwed up, or is this just... Nick's. But he's already got his head hit twice. His memory should be back to normal. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. If you receive brain damage twice, you get knocked out, and then people wail on you for seven seconds. But... You melt a thing to make it work. You melt computers to make them work. Yeah, but that's a different story. Massive damage you works. You don't melt the computer, you put it in an oven. That somewhat melts it. It melts what you need it to melt. It still counts. I avoid the acro with horny breakfast in the normal You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Hey, we did it. Flawless Lewis success. Green. Hi. My legs were injured by Leo six months ago. My younger brother Bat had a dare with Reginald. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of my own's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. Oh, so you really like Regina. Ah. That's almost, that's kind of sad. That's insane! Do you know how, didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought that he was being stupid too, but that line was very old to begin with, and age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's, and that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor bat. When Leon jumped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me and that's how I ended up. What about that? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. Oh. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Hi. Ban Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I want you to take a look at this. What is it? This is a scarf my brother was wearing when they all attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Oh. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? They are obviously. What? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know! Mo said the same thing. What do you think it me all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Yes, you guessed right. Knew it! I'm fucking best! Von Karma! I've already heard everything, so hand over that scarf! But the scarf is evident in the trial! That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Akko. Preparations? I've served a summons on Akko to appear on court tomorrow as a fitness. Akro, you'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Akro, a witness? Come, Akro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. One day. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all starting to fall into place. It seems so damn obvious that if you haven't figured anything out by now, I swear to God. Okay, I'm still writing on my bet on how the guy died, okay? Should we start court? Oh, uh, sure.
<laughs> we uh, don't. We're gonna do as much. We're gonna save it as many pain as possible. <laughs> let's see how much. Let's see how long this episode will go. <laughs> will it be longer than the longest Artanello go? No. 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 That's two hours. We're about one hour in right now. Yeah. We'll let's probably. find out. Good morning, Max. Oh yeah. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling fabulous self today. I just had to do it. Of course you did. Of course you did. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. Oh, I'm working up to it. <laughs> Don't get nervous, Maxi. Here, have a glass of milk. Wait, she actually brought milk? Mm, no. A carton? A whole carton. A whole carton! R Regina! How fabulous, my sweetie pie! My sweetie pie princess! You came to watch my performance today. Of course I did. Mo told me that I should come and watch this. Mo said that. So what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess. You'll fly at the end. Oh. Uh, dear. It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on or... Even where she is. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtains. I'll see you later. Today I'm just a member of the audience. Fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Imagine is different, don't you think, Nick? Don't the more to ya! Alright, look, get ready to expect get stuck in legal limbo. <laughs> How low can you go? Pretty low! M Mo? Top of the morning to ya, Governor! Uh. Top of the morning to ya! That's the ticket! Tuck in the day starts with energy in the morning! Don't really burn gets to warm, but then again, worms lack higher brain functions. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? Here, Max, I brought you a present. How's it though? Oh, oh my. Thank you. Saw you today, right? Well, I've got the feeling today I'm gonna face off against the real criminal. You mean that, bro? Huh? Mm. You think he did it? I'm thinking he did it too. Be careful. He did something. And I have a feeling that something is not a good thing. He's just putting his life on a line. Literally. He's got guts to spare. If all I've got to worry about is how thin the tightrope is, I'm used to it already! It just means I won't be able to press him like I usually do. What are you going to do then, Nick? Don't worry, I have time space rewind. I have safe state. I guess we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today, we rely on evidence! It's the only way we'll get past Acro into the truth. Anyway, it's gonna be tough. Anyways, I want you to make sure that Lucia sees it all today. It's important. Then she'll only have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. Oh. You want us to make sure Regina watches? He wants us to be the one who reveals the truth to her. <laughs> yes, that's why I brought her to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. Uh, we're killing- we're gonna kill- he, he wants us to kill her innocence. I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. You know, Moe's actually quite reasonable. For now. It's just the fact that he's a tragic clown. Mm -hmm. He's the reasonable tragic clown. I think that makes it worse. Exactly. Oh, <clears throat> oh hot dubs. <sighs> The court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Kalaxka. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Who are you in? Miss Van Karma? Proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise, revise its previous theory of defense. What's the meaning of this? We have discovered a new witness, or shall I say, a new eyewitness. One that saw Maximilian Kalaxka. Fly off from the scene of the crime. What? Call him to this. Call him to whatever this place is. Order! Order! 
Ugh. I had a feeling something like this would happen. Due to this revision, revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need is so arises. In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> I am... I'm an attorney! Who are you in? Call your witness to the stand now! Defense attorney solves crimes! Time to get to work! Let's do some legal limbo! How low can we go today? Oh, there's a third one. Third one? Name and occupation? Kendingling, but everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acronym. Well, how is he that tall on a podium? Um... Well, if we ever see a back, a back facing thing, we'll see how tall he actually is. That's gotta be at least, like, seven. Well, because, like, he's sitting down. Actually, considering he was this height while we were standing most of the time in his, in his room. But, but this time he's behind a podium and he's sitting down. Like, huh? Even so, that's like the same height. Yeah, uh, he should be like at least like seven feet. I'm employed as a worker. Where were you at? Where were you at the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. If you look at the map, you will see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm. The night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. Alright. Open up my gossip journal, lay it on the side. Have my pencil next to me. Alright. What is your testimony today? Wow, your, go your gossip journal says AP Chemistry on the side. Wait, wrong book! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's my gossip journal. Put it on the side, got my pencil. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump bounce noise from outside the window. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. <laughs> There was an Max Galactica, only saw him from behind, but that's what it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Hmm. Well, this witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of that crazy stooge. If that's the case, there's very little, very little the prosecution needs to add. All that left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Oh, this will be interesting. <laughs> Hold it! Oh, of course you would. Okay, before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness, please. A, a foolish trust made by foolish a fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad food. <sighs> a man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, did. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Ms. Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? I'm not going to bother with the accent, so I don't care if this is 100% accurate. There's no way that actually happened. Very well. Proceed with your cross-examination. No! Alright. Um, April... I think it was the first. Today, a defense attorney can't actually do German accent. I must look forward. I must look more to this. All right. So. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So, like, let me check. It was 10:30, right? Um, let's look at the evidence. Um, so. 10:15. Pretty close. So, not really anything worth pressing here. Around that time, I heard a large thump. So that's no problem. No. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. This seems pressable, though. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, just watch out. Hold it! Was that higher up? Was that holded bubble higher up than usual? Maybe. 
Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin, or perhaps a large action figure. Hmm, well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. <laughs> he doesn't think a mannequin's possible, he thinks an action figure is plausible. Mm -hmm. This guy's got some good priorities here. have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix Wright. Testify to the truth and the only truth. And only the truth, just as if we were there with you that night. I believe it was a human. Mm. Damn, I just strengthened his testimony. I wonder if Acro statement jives with the facts. Is there? So he says it was a human. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything we can contradict it with? There's a lion. <laughs> That's not helpful. Yes. The actual perpetrator of the crime was a lion! Yes! We solved it! Mr. Wright, I think you should get your brain checked! Penalty! So, it's not the lion. Nope. Um, do we have anything that would actually go against this fact? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, so... Nothing wrong right now. What's the matter, Mr. Wright? <laughs> nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. And she knows it well. Okay, that doesn't seem like anything worth pressing, does Try it? Try it, though. Hold it! That looks normal. The lighting room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed, after all. So, with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. The safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see a silhouette outside my window. It was the person's back, so I couldn't see the right Moses on the front. Did you see any of the other symbols? Together with me, court! No? Ah. I clearly saw the silk hat. This court doesn't listen to me! Clearly, As he writes it down in his gossip journal. Clearly saw the silk hat well the cloak wrapped around his body. The person I saw was Mac Black, but we found our contradiction. Wait, what? I missed it. I clearly saw the silk hat. Oh, wait a minute! The more I press them, the less results I seem to get! But maybe there was something fishy! Was there? I think there was. There is a huge contradiction here! Right now! Well, screw you. If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence! She's right! Let's see some evidence! Do you have any evidence to support your claim you just made? Yep. Take that! Oh. You claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw that Max's hat as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night instead. That would have been quite difficult, considering the state that I'm in. Just looking outside the window was a tough enough challenge for me. Well, that's a shame, because you would have noticed a silk cat found on the scene. That... that's the Ringmaster's hat, right? <sighs> I'm afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Maximilian Galactica's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? Two of them! This must come down my gossip journal. <laughs> Maximilian Galactica might have two silk hats. I must look further into this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> this seems like something the judge would do, though. Slow down. No, this is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model made only for Maximilian Galactica. Well, there goes that. There goes my theory. Which means Acro. That you've been fibbing on the stand! So yeah, he's, not he's that like high. barely above the podium. But like, but you can clearly see his chest in the thing. Okay, then that's a contradiction. This game is a contradiction! <laughs> order! Order! Like always, oh, someone has to open their mouth before sinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth, now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would cause this witness to commit perjury in this court today? 
outpost the real I want to say this, but I don't know if we're gonna one come across this later, and me saying it right now would be too early. Just do it. It wouldn't be this. Well, process of elimination. He has a grudge against Max. He said he has problems, but he notes he's actually said something positive about him. He's the one guy who said something positive about Max. Process of elimination is how we do chemistry. <laughs> Let's go. Your Honor, on this occasion, the defense wishes to accuse Acro himself. On this occasion, uh, accuse Acro. What in the world are you doing? Well, obviously, I want to accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Russell Berry did specialized this. What? Mr. Wright? Are you serious? Deadly serious, Your Honor. There was a murder! <laughs> we finally brought that back. <laughs> it only took us most of this case. I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to remember how to try and grab it in an audience's hearts and minds. Uh, your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by this by theatrics. What? What'd you say? It's too late for me. I am going to go crazy. Trying to rouse a crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest breath in the book. But I don't got smoke and mirrors. I just got Maya, and she's not smoke nor mirrors. Really? Mr. Wright, how dare you? If you don't believe me, just look at the fitness. Hi. Oh, there's the third bird. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's calm enough for it to almost be scary, as if he was a murderer. <laughs> mm, ow! Ow, ow! Ow! He's out staying ow, ow, being rather ow, calm and collect ow, ow. Mr. Dingling! First, get these birds out of here! There are no place for animals in the court! And second, do you have any response to these defenses? Are you activists? sure about that? We had a parrot for a witness once. Shut up! That never happened! <laughs> I don't really need to say a thing, do I? Wait, what do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up on myself, let alone leave the lodging house. Th that's true! I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his clients. I'm a turkey! But to, this, to do this by accusing me of murder of all things. <laughs> See, even a slip, even a silver. Silver? Even a gold of common sense? Maybe, maybe platinum. Um, no, it's iron. <laughs> you know what is, that is, means. Is this a momentous occasion? You know what that means. <laughs> this... Barrel, 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 barrel. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> It was totally necessary. I'm holding up my right hand. Relax. She's right. Way to pick on the defense, you asshole. Wow. Okay. Someone else has. You have to say. Someone, someone tried to try to make this rated E. <laughs> Phoenix is a poopy head. <laughs> <laughs> See that, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're trying to jump the support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Ah! Uh, uh, I think that's enough of this video game. I've, I've got a doctor's note to confirm that this actor is unable to stand under his own power. Maybe defense is playing on making a claim to count as this as well. That must be it! I can hear the defense now. Ackler had an accomplice. Did he? I don't see how. That, that wouldn't make sense, would it? I can hear the defense now. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Acro have an accomplice? Okay, so let's look at the people. Picking up the pictures. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Oh wait, yes, it was Miss Juan Karma. Miss <laughs> Karma. Okay, so it it wouldn't be that, would it? Probably not, I guess. Now, Zen, this must be when we get when we when we get to hear the name of the mystery accomplice. 
Not this time, Von Karma. What? Ha! I caught you off guard! You're not gonna sucker me into that one. What are you speak? What nonsense are you talking about this time, Mr. Wright? The nonsense I'm talking about is that there was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Damn, way to take it one step further. Oh, what? Order! Order! What the? What are you getting at? Way to keep that on your toes, Nick. Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. I have to show how Acro murdered Russellberry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I'm an attorney. Of course I can! I have an idea. It seems like the most obvious one. If it's right... Ah. Uh. I know what I can't do. I can't stop this madness! If I stop, I'm done! You can't stop the munchies! Alright, then let's do it! High five! Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Knight. If this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Mm. Mr. Wright, you will have to clear up something for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? Um, he was in his room, right? Yeah. Take that! He was obviously here in the entire time. That's his room? Pretty simple, huh? Acro was able to leave the lodging house by himself. There's only one answer to that. He didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster! Ah, oh, I feel violated! <laughs> what? Are you nuts? I'm violating you with my words! That's the worst kind of violation, I can feel it. What say you, Mr. Dangling? Bird. I'm a birdie. I'm gonna get poked in the face! I'm a birdie. Are you a buddy? Bubble. Voice. Okay. It's an interesting theory. Um, that's it? Considering that what you propose is impossible, yes. That's it. 